Okay, so I pulled all the governor linkage off of the uh, Coleman three horse while it was still on the Coleman bike. But since then, I've installed that engine on this uh, micro bike. And anyway, now I'm gonna do some more modifications to this engine, but I need to remove that internal governor first. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the internal governor off of this Coleman three horse. Go ahead and remove the chain guards. This clutch on. You loosen up this engine and pop this chain off. This clutch off there. All right, that. So let me throw a bolt back in here to hold it. So I can probably pop this governor off right, right on the bike. Without having to pull the, all the linkage off and stuff. All right, let's pull off the side cover. Oh man, that's a trip, man, a nylon, nylon cam. So now I can go ahead and pop off that nylon gear and that little rod and this little rod right here and this gear. So either I can top, pop off the flywheel and just pop it off from that side or I can try to pull the pin out. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off first. See, I'm going to have to cut a piece of this rod off and then it'll fall right out. I'll just take my little cutoff wheel and cut this off and it'll drop out a lot easier. Use my wheel here and cut this uh, bolt off. Or this little... Okay, so now all I have to do is pop that little nylon wheel out and either I can grab these clips or pull the flywheel, we'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, make, it, make it easier. I'll just pop it out from the other side. So let me turn the bike around. Just shank the side cover off, yank the flywheel off. And it comes right out, and I just put a bolt in it. All right. There we go. Let's pop this flywheel off real quick and just pop it out from the other side. Take a couple seconds. All right, pop this flywheel off. All right, there's that. the bolt back on so I don't mess up the threads when I hit it. Like that. All right. All you gotta do now is knock it out right there. There it is. So there it is. Coming the wheel popped off. All right. So now I usually put a, a, a button bolt in here just to make sure it doesn't hit the flywheel. So it's pretty flat. So that's one benefit of not pounding it out and pulling it from the other side is that you don't have to put a bolt in here. All right. There's that. Just pop the flywheel back on this beast. All right. A little timing marks because I put a degree flywheel in here or a degree flywheel key i made one so i'll make sure i get my little marks lined up okay. 
Alrighty then. There is the blower housing. Might as well hook this throttle linkage back up. Seems how I'm already over here. All right, there's that. Let's see if that works. All right, looks like we're getting full throttle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a uh, button bolt in this top hole. I already started putting it in there. It kind of just self taps because the metal's um, so hard and the aluminum's so soft, it'll, it'll just self tap in there. All right, there we go. All right, so there's that one. Button bolt on top, button bolt behind the flywheel. So we should be sealed up. Now to seal up the other side. So you can see down in there, the gear is gone. The little arm is gone. And you can see my bolt sticking through there. That I threaded through there. Which doesn't interfere with anything. And then the button bolt up on top. So there we go. All the timing marks are still in alignment. Sweet. Put the little dowel pin in here. If I can fit it in here. It used to fit. There we go. Tighten her all back down. Pop this piece back on here for the uh, chain guard. Go ahead and bolt this clutch back on. All right this chain guard back on this beast and we should be all right hopefully all right and that ready then all right there's a chain guard back on now I'll probably put some oil in it it probably might help All right, you got the governor removed out of the uh, microbike Coleman three horse. Total governor removal, internal and external. So let's do a top speed run and see if it made any difference. I mean, it probably won't, but it's nice having that governor wheel out of the crankcase. So let's go check it out. Top speed run, Coleman, three horse, total governor removal. Let's see what she did. All right, a top speed of 41 miles per hour today. 41 miles per hour. All righty. The beast did 41 miles per hour with total governor removal. 41 miles per hour so far. But now that I got all the governor removed, I can start putting other modifications on it.